deciding to buy a paddle board, so make sure you stick around to the whole video because I'm going to give you five quick tips on how to choose the best paddle board for yourself. All right, without further ado, let's dive right into it. Okay, so tip number one, you have to figure out what you're gonna be using your paddle board for. So are you gonna be using it for surfing, for yoga, for fishing? Are you just gonna have it as an all year round type of paddle board? Because like your board for your racing is gonna be more narrow versus your all round paddle board, which is more wider. So hence you have to first figure out what you're gonna be using it for. Um, the other point is, do you want a inflatable board or a hard board? And then last but not least is, are you thinking of having your children on this board or your dogs, like a big dog, small dog? So those are all factors in tip number one that you have to consider. All right, so tip number two is size. So your height, the width of the board, and as well the volume of the board. I think the width of the board and the volume are the most important specs. So the width of the board affects the stability, the speed, and the overall outline shape of the board. Like the wider the board, the more stable it will be, but in turn, it creates drag underwater. So that's why for racing, in racing, the boards are very narrow. Your all round paddle board, as they are called, um, should be 28 to 36 inches in width and as well in length, about 10 to 12 feet. You know, wider boards are also good for beginners and the thicker the board is also good for those heavier riders. Okay, so let's talk about volume. So let's face it, you don't wanna be on a board that doesn't have enough volume to hold you. So the volume is the calculation of length and width and thickness. So for beginners, basically multiply your weight by 1.1 to a 1.4 uh, type of ratio. Um, on the list, tip number three and four kind of go together because it's transportation and storage. So your inflatable paddle boards, they occupy less space than the hard boards and they're easier to transport. And let's be honest, the lighter boards are going to be used more and it's, it's a proven fact because it's more convenient for the majority of us. And inflatable boards are also more durable than hard boards, but you know what? Hard boards these days are made from such good material um, that they're just as good, but the only thing is the crack is the issue. Just a quick interruption. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated when I launch all my future videos. All right, let's get back to the video. And let's face it, setting up the board, you know, when it's an inflatable one, it basically, you know, it takes a little bit of time like at first it'll be a little bit longer for you but you need that depends if you're pumping or you have an electronic pump that's like another factor to uh, tie into as well so you got to give yourself that 20 minutes you know to unpack get it already pumped up and on the water versus your hardboard it's ready to go and you're on the water and with kids and with dogs I would highly suggest getting an inflatable paddle board and last but not least, number five, tip number five is cost. So your budget. So basically, I think any board, the higher the value, the better the quality of the materials. Um, that's kind of obvious, so it will be better. But I think anywhere like 800 above is a really good paddle board that will last you a long time when it comes to inflatable. You know, the cheaper ones are great, but you know what? As a person who's had a couple of paddle boards already, I wouldn't go for the cheapest one because it's made of cheaper materials. It won't last you as long and you know, the stitching and everything, you know, this is something that you're going to have for a couple of years. So might as well invest at least a little bit and then that way you have it for longer as well. All right, enough of the jibber jabber. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As I always say, live life to the fullest, never ever give up and I shall see you guys at the next one. Oh yeah, let me show you how beautiful and calm the lake is. I regret not bringing my paddleboard while I was recording this, but look at this.
okay? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. We have it is flat, perfect for paddle boarding. Are you having fun filming with mom? Yeah. Do you like paddle boarding? Yeah.